guys welcome to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing another garage sale haul this is probably gonna be my last garage sale haul video just because it is getting colder out people don't have garage sales anymore I was really excited just to snag a few things at a few different garage sales it's probably not gonna be as good as my last garage sale haul because everything I bought at a garage sale was like 10 cents or a quarter or free or a few dollars this one I spent a tiny bit more money but it was still a really good deal for some of these things so I'm just going to jump right in. I'm gonna start with this garage sale. I have been sitting on this stuff for probably a couple weeks just because I knew I was gonna be going to a couple more and I thought I would show you guys more stuff that I found and picked up. You really have to have an imagination when you go garage sale shopping. So I grabbed these candle holders. They are just these gold and they have tin foil in them. So obviously people did use them for something or probably for lighting candles they use them for something <laughs> I don't know why I just said that but I thought these they're pretty heavy they're really nice quality um they are probably actually they were from a store for 35 bucks I think I got a steal on these I think these were only 50 cents for the three of them they were like doing like a half off sale like the last day of their sale and they were just getting rid of everything I think this was only 25 cents this is just a little tin bucket like this and then I'm really obsessed with using this like galvanized rust-oleum spray paint. It's called Forged Hammered. You're gonna see this in a lot of my videos lately because I am like overly obsessed with using this. But I really like it and I thought that, you know, putting these two together would be really cute. You could even use this for like Christmas, for Halloween, for fall. You could use this for anything to put any kind of florals or like pumpkins or things in like that. The next thing I got, this is so gross. I don't know why I put this up in my house without like cleaning it, but like I guess I'm just disgusting. But <laughs> it's this gross thing right here. I uh, it was okay, it was two dollars, so I think this was a dollar. It has like this candle that's like half burnt. It has these flowers that are disgusting. They kind of stink a little bit and they're like turning brown. But I liked this. So this was the whole reason why I bought that. So like I said, you really have to have an imagination when you go thrifting or garage sailing or to Goodwill. You really need a good like mindset like I could probably make this way better than what it looks it is like I don't know looks like like paint splatters I know this is how they purchased it obviously like they didn't redo it but um I don't know it's just terrible looking but I'm really excited about it the next thing I picked up were these wreath forms these were a dollar a piece but they are way better quality than the Dollar Tree ones I probably should have picked up more just in case but Anyways, I thought that this was like a good start. I think I'm gonna save these back for Christmas. The next thing I picked up was this large basket. I think someone actually already spray painted it because you can tell it's like way glossy and then like it's kind of chipping off a little bit. But I like picking up baskets like this. This was a dollar. I like picking up baskets like this for like Christmas and things like that. So you can just like put everybody's gifts and stuff in here because buying a basket every single year for people's Christmas presents is almost as expensive as the Christmas present itself. So I always try to grab some big large baskets when I can find a good deal on them. The next thing, this is super silly, but I wanted a big giant frame. This was $1 and I'm gonna be using it in a DIY very, very soon. So I just wanted a big large wood frame. So that's it, $1. So the next thing is this bird cage. It came with these leaves. Um, I think this was only 25 cents, but it has some good bones to it. So I think that I'm just gonna rip everything out and maybe redo it. I've never done a bird cage up before, so I'm gonna have to like get some Pinterest ideas on what I wanna do with this, but I thought this was cute. It's small, so it can like fit on a shelf. It can fit probably on this really ugly thing like this. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, I don't know. I just, um, I've never done a bird cage before or have one, so thought that was kinda cool. The next thing I picked up, this was 50 cents. It is a little birdhouse. Um, it is a little barn. I it's kind of everything the paint and stuff is starting to come off a little bit and I don't like birdhouses at all I actually hate birdhouses but on the back side it does not look like a birdhouse so I just want to repaint this and give it a little facelift and I think this is super super cute the next thing I grabbed this thing was three dollars it is this ladder for Christmas 
I just really wanted the ladder, so I think I'm just gonna take everything apart and see what, how I can make this different for Christmas or just for everyday decor. Although these little guys are pretty cute, so I might just keep the little snowmen around just for a little while. The next thing I grabbed, this was $3 too. I did a Christmas DIY in July with a sled and I found this. This was not 10 cents like the other one was. This ends up, this was $3 but I really want to make another one because I really like the first one that I did and yeah, I think this is a really good quality. It's thick, it's wood, so I had to pick it up even though it was three bucks. I still think that's a really, really good price for it. And then I only have two items left, so I'm really excited about these. I guess I'm really excited about everything, so I could probably keep saying that. So I picked this up. This is almost like a little primitive I'm not gonna keep this myself. My mom actually picked this up and I told her I would fix it up and redo it for her. I'm not a big fan of like these little heart cutouts. I actually don't like those at all. But oh my God, this is so dusty. Do you guys ever go to garage sales or do you have garage sales? Don't you clean your stuff up before you sell it? I don't know. People don't do that around here, I guess. But I feel like that when we have garage sales, I always make sure everything's super, super clean. But yeah, so this is like just like a three shelf type thing. It's not like that big, like you can see from here. It's not like super big. I have some sitting down and this is how tall it is. But I think this is cute and I think that I'll be able to make this cute for my mom. And then the very last thing I grabbed is this shelf. This is really gross, so I did not stick in here. Although it's in my kitchen, so I am gonna give you a little overview of it. It is a shelf, it was five bucks. I don't know if it's really a shelf. It's almost like a nightstand with shelving. I don't know I thought it was a really good find and I'm really excited to finish that I've had some good feedback about my latest garage sale thrifting trash to treasure videos so I can't wait to show you guys some things on here and I am still finishing stuff from my last garage sale haul video but you guys that's it for the video if you liked it please make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any more videos and I will see you guys in my next video bye